everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. This is a colour and chat. Quick disclaimer, this channel is for adults and not for children. None of the videos here are made for or intended for children. Just get that out of the way. Today we're going to be colouring in Hannah Lynn's new book, Whimsy Girls Through the Decades. I have just got to find a piece of paper to put behind it. So, because we're going to be using markers and gel pens. So we're actually going to be colouring this one. This girl from the 1920s, the flapper. And um, we're going to be using a mixture. We'll do the difficult one because there are two versions. And um, we're going to be using both normal markers and gel pens for various bits and pieces. So, so we'll be using some sparkle pens um, and some normal uh, markers. Uh, so I've already got a colour scheme in my head, um, generally. So let's crack on. So we'll start with her skin because uh, there's not a lot of it in this one, which is good. Uh, I'm actually going to start with her leg at the bottom because there's only a tiny bit here. Uh, two bits here. So let me just get it in frame for you. We'll just start down here. How are you all? Are you all okay? How have you been? Are you colouring much? Now she probably would have worn um, dark stockings but we just do it as a flesh for now. How are you? Are you all well? I mean we're still going through things and it's still up in the air as to what's happening but I hope you're all keeping yourselves safe and well and following the rules whatever you live in the world like we are here. So as I've said before I'm quite happy staying at home for as long as necessary. I am not particularly a sociable person. I do like going out and and seeing my friends but um, looking after myself and Jennifer is far more important than anything else. I have been uh, colouring a bit, not a huge amount. I've had a, a couple of nights where I've hardly coloured at all. I've had one night where I didn't colour anything, I just watched a movie instead. And sometimes you just need to do that, you need to take uh, time out and uh, take a break and relax because otherwise you just get burnout. At the moment I'm still loving everything I colour, I'm really enjoying myself and um, I intend to just keep going and colour as much as I want because I, I enjoy colouring and I do. So on her neck we just got to make sure that, that is the neckline there. She's got some sort of like strings around her neck which we'll put some gel over. But uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, as long as it takes. So that's all I'm going to say about it really. Yeah. We're all fine. Jennifer's fine. Paul's fine. Um, I'm great. I'm just, you know, working and doing everything that I, I normally do. My eBay and my colouring and my work, looking after Jennifer, going for walks. So, yeah, we, we're all right. It's, it's, it's just a matter of getting through. I'm trying to finish off some of my whips. Obviously, not all of them because I'm doing this one right now. This is a new one. But, uh, yeah. We wanted to do something today. So here we are doing this lovely flapper. So I am mixing up the videos a bit. You'll have noticed that uh, yesterday, Tuesday, you had the Crayola review. I hope you enjoyed that video. It was, it was fun to do. I'm not going to lie. I really enjoyed it. And... Uh, took me a while. I have got a few other budget pencils to use and to, to review and show you how I use them. I've got the Faber-Castell Classics and I've got, uh, what's the other one, uh, the Marco Ruffines. Um, and I will do those at some point. I'm not going to rush to do them because obviously we got a, I've got some first impressions to do. I know that uh, the Black Widows will be out soon, so I'm going to want to do those when they arrive. Well, I know the guy, you guys in America have got them, you lucky lot. Uh, but over here in the UK, we're still waiting. I am checking every day since they hit the US. 
because Albert said they'd be a week or two weeks after, which is a fine. So I'm going to um, I'm just going to keep checking until they appear, and as soon as I see them, I will be getting my order in. I'm telling you now, because I cannot wait to get them. I really can't. And of course we'll be doing an unboxing and a first impressions of the new colours, um, which look very interesting, I'm not going to lie, they look, do look interesting. So, so like I said, I'm not going to be doing too much marker in here, because it's very 20s, so it's going to be very sparkly, so we're using a lot of gel pen um, on her. So there's just a few bits, so I'm actually using my old Touch New, Touch 5 markers, rather than my new, newer ones. So I'm going to use the rose for her lip. Because a lot of it is going to be done with glitter pen. Um, so, mm, I wonder what colour to her hair. I want to do it a sort of a red colour. So. We use terracotta and rose beige. So you just have to bear with me when I get the colours I want. Uh, that one will do so. Yeah. So sort of ready brown, we're doing it. So Jennifer's been fine. She will be starting. It's not dark enough, not red enough. A newer nursery soon. Um, that, that's it. That's better. That looks a bit. That's better. That's more like it. She'll be going to a new nursery. Um, and Paul's worried because this just doesn't seem to be going away, and he's afraid it's never going to get back to normal. And he may well be right. We will have to see. Um, but I probably do, I'm going to put some pencil on her skin uh, later just to um, deepen it rather than just leave it like that. So. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's all about just being careful. But he's worried and he's worried about sending Jennifer to nursery in case she gets ill. But um she can't stay home forever. She's got to start mixing with other children again soon because she's shy um, and she gets a bit nervous around people and it worries me that she's going to stay like that. You know, she's not going to get used to people. She's never going to manage in places like school. And she she was very good in nursery and she loved nursery when she was there. So I'm hoping she'll settle into the new one very quickly and it's only because it's nearer to me it's nearer to home it's easier for me to take it there especially when we're working at home and even though they're talking about October as potentially going back it's still at 30% occupancy there's going to be a lot of people not in the office so I'm just making plans to assume that I won't be one of the ones um, I think they'll say if, if you want to go back to the office you can go back to the office you know and they'll work it like that with um, those who do want to go which I think is the way to do it I mean but, uh, yeah and Paul at his place although they're saying it is only temporary there's no end of when is it temporary. It's like, how long is a piece of string? How long are we going to be working from home? How long is a piece of string? So it's just about waiting and seeing. So, you know. Especially as they're predicting another outbreak in October. 
when the, when the weather changes and starts getting colder. And yes, it, you know, it does worry me because I suffer from asthma. I don't really want to get sick. Of course I don't. I've got a little girl to look after and she needs me. So that's one of the reasons why I won't be rushing back. If they say I can work from home for longer, I'll be working from home. i got to be honest, I haven't done much eBay lately. I've been really lazy. I have made a profit this month, but it's not a huge profit. This is why I know if I really buckled down and did it properly, I could probably make a full-time living at it. But i got so much else to do, like uh, talking to you guys, my friends. Um, I like talking to you. I don't want to stop talking to you. So I've got to just... Uh, Put up with it and manage at the moment and that's fine so as long as I say as long as I'm making my fees back and the money I've spent on goods and a little bit of profit that's all I care about and that does seem to be what's happening at the moment so it's all good I've missed a bit of skin there. I'll go back and do that in a minute. It was me thinking, oh, I've got all the skin. No, you haven't. Give me sort of a almost red head look, but it's not completely red. I really, really do enjoy colouring these pictures and I really just enjoy talking to you. So my mum is nearly better. She can now, she's got the boot off and she can hobble around. She's using a frame at the moment just because um, it's still weak and she's very nervous. You know, she's 76 at the moment. So she's just a little bit nervous about putting too much weight on her um, foot. And her wrist is getting better. So she's getting there, it won't be long and she'll be back. She's doing a lot more now. She can open the door and let the dog out, which she couldn't do before. and. she can do a lot more things so she's getting there which is great um hopefully it won't be long before she'll be back on the go so that's her hair I quite like that looks very 20s i'm liking it um let's get that uh, beige back out for her skin where did it go barely beige there it is it's just that i've missed a tiny little bit in here Oops, the wrong end. In in here and here. And I think that's a little bit of hair just there. So I'll just do that bit. Oops, that's the wrong pot. I'll just do that bit red. It's just a little bit of hair there. So I'll just have a little bit of red there. Lovely. So that one goes in there and that one goes in there. So now I do need to check some of these pens because they're running out. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, there we go. Now I know we're on 13 or so minutes. So I always hate doing these eyes because they're so big. So I'm going to give her blue eyes. I know it's a weird blue, but who wants to do normal colours all the time? So what I'm going to do now is I am going to do her feathers her fan and her gloves in this uh, cerulean blue from my um touch new hopefully there's enough ink in it because i can always put a bit of glitter on the feathers which i will i just don't want it completely glittered up And the same with the gloves. We will put some glitter on there. 
but it'll be in specific places rather than the whole thing. Fan. We won't do the whole fan, we'll just do the um, this bit. We will put some glitter on the edge and on the bottom. Oh, and her boa as well, but we'll do that in a darker blue. Because we'll be doing two different colours of glitter as well. So you can tell this is running out. It's not so close that I'm going to run out before I finish though. I think I'll be able to get all this. So again, I have got a huge colouring book haul coming up at the end of the month. I keep saying I'm not going to buy any more or I'm not going to buy very many and I lied. It's like Jade Summer kept putting some out and then I ordered two by accident uh, of the same one so I gave one to Jennifer, it was my little pony one. Um, there's a couple of other ones I wanted and I won't be able to spend as much money next month um, as this month because next month I've got to fill my car up with diesel which I haven't done since March so that'll be this weekend when I get paid and then car insurance payments start again um, around the middle of the month. Now I've had a two month break which is why I've had extra money. I should have saved it. I have saved some of it to be fair. We've had no nursery fees Obviously those uh, aren't starting again until I'm going to have to use a different colour on her gloves as well, I think. Because this is not going to last long enough. I might just do her gloves glittery then. Yeah. I've got to, I've got to go through all these touch news and, and work out which ones to get rid of. I think we'll use this, uh, this one here. I'm just going to check the colour of it. It's brilliant blue. It should be okay. Yeah, that's the colour. Um, so we've had no nursery fees. Uh, we've had, um, we've had no diesel, no insurance for the last two months. Uh, ne uh, next month we get two of those back. Uh, diesel goes into the car uh, and uh, obviously the insurance. I also haven't had my hair done since uh, March. I haven't booked that yet just because I don't know if I could cope was sitting there with the face mask on for that long. I've got to start trying to do that. I need to do it anyway in case they make it mandatory in the UK to wear one in shops. Well, they have in certain parts of the UK, but at the moment in Wales they have no plans to because we are, our, our rating is so low that they're not, unless it starts rising, they won't make it mandatory. It's only mandatory on public transport, which I think is right because it's very enclosed. So, I think it's odd, but we it, it's we're under a different government. We're under the Welsh government, so it's a devolved issue. Health is why we get our prescriptions for free in Wales, whereas in England they have to pay. We're very lucky, and I know that. I mean, even before they made them free, you were paying like something like seven pounds in England for each prescription. Well, I have one, two, three, four, five different things. Can you imagine if I had to have all those in one go, how much it would cost now? Um, I think it's, it's eight or nine quid. Obviously, you can buy a prepaid certificate and you can have as many as you want on that, um, which would be the way I would have to go if they ever reintroduced them. But when I moved back, although it wasn't that price, it wasn't the full price of England, we still, it was a three pound, which I thought was fair. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
I thought three pounds was quite a, a decent amount to pay, you know. But that's how the Welsh Government spend their funding, so I'm not going to moan about it. But then I don't get things like Calpol and prescription or, or aspirin or paracetamol. And I know some people do, because I can buy that for like, well, paracetamol for 39p in Niddles. So I'm not going to have charged the NHS for something that's so cheap. I mean, seriously, if you haven't got the money for something like Calpol, which can get pricey, then fair enough. But I did get it on prescription the first time. I didn't realise how cheap it was. And it was when she was having her injections, they gave me two bottles on prescription and I didn't realise that it was so cheap. Otherwise I would have just said, no, 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 don't give me that, I'll buy it. But. Okay. Right. That is all we'll be doing on the markers for now. So I'm just going to pop those away and get the gel pens out. Won't be a sec, guys. Okay, so I've got the glitter pens out. So I think I will start with her dress. As you can see, um, I'm going to do the main body of her dress and the gloves the same colour, which is going to be... I'm just going to find one that I've already started using so that I'm not... Okay, too many that have... Uh, is this blue this is link shine these are now back in stock on amazon i saw them today and i was like oh so i put them in my cart ready for when i need them so we'll start down here we are going to do the main part of her dress in this blue as well so i know she's got her hands on her hips so it's going to kind of blend in but we'll just do it like this for now this actually goes down very nicely on this paper like about these gel pens is they are so gorgeous so yeah I did think about using the secures but I'm thinking I'm going to be doing quite a bit of this in this uh, these colours so I don't want to use them up I am trying to use up some of the, the bits of um, gel pen I've got so I've got lots of half used bits um, so I am trying to use that up as well so in some of the pit pattern pictures so I'm not worrying about that just get this on I love a bit of gel. I love glitter. You've got to love a bit of glitter. Now I could just use glitter glue, but I just think that it makes it hard. If it was the very first picture in the book, then yes, but it makes it very hard when it's more, so far into the book. If you want to do the picture that precedes it, because obviously you, it's a bit lumpy, whereas obviously gel pen's not lumpy. Also gets a nice. I'm just looking at it, make sure I've got a bit of even coverage, a few gaps. There will be a few gaps because I can't see the light properly. So I'm just going to leave the bands on the top of her sleeves at the moment, on the top of her um, gloves at the moment, and we'll do those later. Um, yeah, we'll do this part first. And again, uh, I'm just going to heat it down here. I'll leave this to later, and the trim will be done in a different blue. So, this would be nice to use. The, the gel pens, another one I'll be using them on is the movie star one. When I finally do that one, I'll do a hair dress like it as well. So I just have to be very careful going around her hands to make sure that we still got some sort of definition in her hands. We can see that it is her hand and it's not just her, her dress and all blended into one. That's fine. It's only on this side anyway because she's got the fan in the other hand. 
can see these colours are just stunning. They do, however, take a while to dry if you're using this particular brand. The Link Shines, as you can see I'm holding my hand above the page and colouring it. It's not very um, comfortable, but see I can see where the gaps are now, look, because of the I'm holding it up. I, again, I'll have to go back over it because it's very hard for me to see where there are blue holes with this light on. But I'll do that as soon as we finish the video tonight. So, so I do that and I can immediately see tons and tons of gaps and I'm like, Ugh. but I know it's partly because of this light I've got. All I can see is sparkle. but it is much better for filming in. Oh yeah, it's a lovely colour this. As I said, I do love. The only thing I wish with the Link Shine is as much as I love the colours, and I really love the colours, they've only got one green. There are two blues, there is a pink and a purple, which you can use together. There's red, there's gold, there's silver, there's black. There's only a dark green. I wish there was a lighter green in it. Maybe instead of, I don't know, purple. Oh, I don't know, I like, I, like, I like them all. But there's only a dark green. I would like a lighter green. Because sometimes I do use a lighter, lighter green. Actually, this colour reminds me, and it's a lot brighter. But I've just just thought that it reminds me of the dress that uh, Doris Day wore in uh, Love Me and Leave Me. She wore a blue sort of flapper dress, shimmy dress, not quite as flappery, but it's just the colour I think. Even though that colour was a lot more muted <laughs> than this bright, sparkly. I don't want me to think of that. It's funny, isn't it? Things you think of, eh? Like these Hanalyn bit books they are really good to colour in and I have got most of them there's a few I'm still missing I'm missing Tattoo Darlings, Steampunk Darlings and Victorian Darlings and maybe a couple of others I'd need to look up I'm, I'm not sure which ones so I would really need to have a good look at her page and I might pick up one of them next month because I didn't buy the extra Karen Heaven one, the collection this month, which was Moomins. Because as much as I like the Moomins, they just don't appeal to me for colouring. I did tell my friend who's a huge Moomins fan. So. But for me, it's not, they, they look very simple pictures actually. It looks like quite a good book. But, no, it's not for me, that, that one. And because it's not part of the subscription, I don't have to have it. So I'm only gonna get the ones I really want. but there's the subscription issues have been fantastic this year so far every single one of them has been absolutely brilliant I've loved every one so far I mean it may take me a while to colour in some of them properly but I really do like them so for instance I'm I have started another a second one in the Colin Thompson one which was the which is the current one um next one's out next week um but i haven't finished it it's very in depth it's just one of those things i'm going to pick up every now and again and think right i can do a bit of this one today and do it a little bit at a time and that's what i like about the colin thompson's ones you can you can actually literally push it down into sections and say right i'm just going to do this section here this square on some of them obviously the one i did that you'll see at the end of the month I just did it in all pretty much in one go, it didn't take me that long. But the one I the other one I started, which I started first, it's squares basically, 
it's a, it's a set of shelves with books on it and other things and so I've just done one I've done completed one square I've done the, all the, the wood um, but I've only done the one square so far but I'll, I'll keep doing it a bit at a time because I think you know that's probably the best best way of doing it just do it a little bit at a time and then you know if you get fed up you can just leave it and then come back to it and it doesn't matter because I've got so many books on the go and I'm trying to finish some of the whips and I've still got how many have I got? not including this one I've got one Let me have a look. I'm not worrying about that one. One, two, that three, four. That's not too bad. I can, I can, I can do the four. I can still finish four. One's nearly finished downstairs. One's nearly finished in a mandala book. And if I don't finish them, I don't finish them. I'll just carry on until the next one. It's that simple. It's like this one. We won't finish this one today. We're already at thirty minutes. Yeah, easy. So, and there's still a heck of a lot to be done, so. And I don't want this to be too long for you, I don't want to bore the heck out you. And my waffling on, so. So, uh, those of you who don't watch the uh, weekly vlog, we did a quiz last night and it was uh, fun. It was a lot of fun. We had a really good time. It was a different quiz to the way they normally do it. Oh, I can see loads of gaps now. But it was very, it was quite enjoyable. Some of it I wasn't that keen on, the new format, but then it's not the format they use. They were just trying it out. Um, they might start using it and some like, oh. Some of it was all right, but some of it was a bit, oh, really? So I'm trying to fill in some of the holes that I can see now. Terrible, really. I'll, I'll pull it up and do it properly in a minute. All right, let's do this bitch now. Her sleeve. It's terrible when you can do that because you're trying your best and you you think you're getting it all, and then suddenly it's like, nah, -uh, you have a look and there's great big gaps. That's okay though. Hmm. Now that is definitely part of it thing but it's not got the armband that decoration like that one for some reason yeah I mean I got sniffles terrible I don't know why I don't know how long this video is because I stopped it at 30 and I think then that was 7 that was 20 I think we're at 30 now just over so we'll do a bit more Pretty. So yeah, this one I did have a kind of colour scheme planned out for, including the background, which again is going to be done in gels and glitter. Um, yeah, kind of got a plan for that. But we'll be doing that in the next video. Okay, that's that. I'm going to come back now to her feathers and just put some some gel on it, just to give it a bit of sparkle. We don't need a lot. I'm just following the uh, black lines. So that's that. I'm not going to put any on the fan yet because I haven't decided how I'm going to do that 100%. I give a silver earring so let me just find a silver that's got some ink in it but not a huge amount. Trying again not to put my hand in 
the um, thing. There we go. Let's try to think what we'll do next. I'll do the pearl on here silver as well. I think with silver as it does cover up absolutely everything. And although they're pearls, we will colour them silver. And of course she's got a rope around her neck as well. There we go, which will also I'm gonna have to turn it this way to do this. I'm just gonna do this silver as well. I'm just putting it on the line, so I'm trying to avoid the, the lines because the silver will cover the lines, that's the only problem. And then we've just got this bit, which we'll, we will just do it as one big ball. I can always put some black on it afterwards. And here. And when we come back, I'm going to leave that there for tonight, because I think that's about 35 minutes. We will do some detail. We'll do the detailing on the dress and the fan and her headdress and the bottom of her skirt first we'll start there and then this bit here on the top of her headdress as well this bit here and then we'll start the background i probably won't do the whole background but i'll just show you what i'm planning um yeah uh i'm what i'm planning yeah I'm thinking about it now. So let's have a look at what we've done today. So here we go. Here is our flapper girl. She's all sparkly and very pretty girl with her auburny hair. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing this Art Deco background. Got some ideas on that as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's not it's not as long as a normal one, but it's getting on and I've got to get up for work in the morning. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up if you have. Let me know what you think down below. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.